Welcome to Tech2N4U. Today we will discuss about the Azure terminology which will be useful for the beginners to know. 3 Cloud Services 1. Public Cloud The cloud resources, like servers and storage, are owned and operated by a third-party cloud service provider and delivered over the Internet. 2. Private Cloud the private cloud can be physically located at your organization's on-site data center or it can be hosted by a third-party service provider. 3. Hybrid cloud. It is a type of cloud computing that combines on-premises infrastructure, or a private cloud, with a public cloud. Azure Cloud Services Model. There are mainly three types of clouds in Microsoft Azure are. 1. Platform as a Service, PaaS. 2. Software as a Service, SaaS. 3. Infrastructure as a Service, IaaS. You can see the below chart and get the understanding about the services. Regions. Azure is a global cloud platform which is available across various regions around the world. When you request a service, application, or VM in Azure, you are first asked to specify a region. The selected region represents data center where your application runs. Data center. In Azure, you can deploy your applications into a variety of data centers around the globe. So. It is advisable to select a region which is closer to most of your customers. It helps you to reduce latency and network requests. Azure Portal The Azure Portal is a web-based application which can be used to create, manage and remove Azure resource and services. It is located at https colon slash slash portal.azure.com. Resources Azure Resource is an individual computer, networking data or app hosting services which charged individually. Some common resources are virtual machines, storage account, or SQL databases. Resource Groups An Azure Resource Group is a container which holds related resource for an Azure solution. It may include every resource or just resource which you want to manage. Resource Manager Templates It is a JSON which defines one or more resource to deploy to a resource group. It also establishes dependencies between deployed resources. Automation Azure allows you to automate the process of creating, Managing and deleting resource by using PowerShell or the Azure command line interface. Azure PowerShell. PowerShell is a set of modules that offer commandlets to manage Azure. In most cases, you are allowed to use the commandlets command for the same tasks which you are performing in the Azure portal. Azure command line interface. The Azure CLI is a tool that you can use to create, manage, and remove Azure resources from the command line. REST APIs. Azure is built on a set of REST APIs help you perform the same operation that you do in Azure Portal UI. It allows your Azure resources and apps to be manipulated via any third-party software application. Next category Compute. It has the following components. Virtual Machine. Allows you to deploy any language, workload in any operating system. Virtual Machine Scale Sets. Allows you to create thousands of similar virtual machines in minutes. Azure Container Service. Create a container hosting solution which is optimized for Azure. You scale and arrange applications using kubedcos, Swarm or Docker. Azure Container Registry. This service store and manage container images across all types of Azure deployments. Functions. Let's you write code regardless of infrastructure and provisioning of servers. In the situation when your function's call rate scales up. Batch. Batch processing helps you scale to tens hundreds or thousands of virtual machines and execute computer pipelines. Service Fabric Simplify microservice-based application development and lifecycle management. It supports Java, PHP, Node.js, Python, and Ruby. Next is Storage. Azure Store is a cloud storage solution for modern applications. It is designed to meet the needs of their customers' demand for scalability. It allows you to store and process hundreds of terabytes of data. It has the following components. Blob Storage, Azure Blob Storage is a service which stores unstructured data in the cloud as objects slash blobs. You can store any type of text or binary data, such as a document, media file, or application installer. Q Storage, it provides cloud messaging between application components. It delivers asynchronous messaging to establish communication between application components. File Storage, using Azure File Storage, you can migrate legacy applications. It relies on file shares to Azure quickly and without costly rewrites. Table Storage Azure Table Storage stores semi-structured NoSQL data in the cloud. It provides a key attribute store with a schema-less design. Next is Database. This category includes Database as a service which offers SQL and NoSQL tools. 
It also includes databases like Azure Cosmos DB and Azure Database for PostgreSQL. It has the following components. SQL Database. It is a relational database service in the Microsoft Cloud based on the market-leading Microsoft SQL Server Engine. Document DB. It is a fully managed NoSQL database service which is it built for fast and predictable performance and ease of development. Redis Cache. Next is Content Delivery Network. CDN caches static web content at strategically placed locations. This helps you to offer speed for delivering content to users. It has the following components. VPN Gateway. VPN Gateway sends encrypted traffic across a public connection. Traffic Manager. It helps you to control and allows you to do the distribution of user traffic for services. Services like web apps, VM, Azure, and cloud services in different data centers. Express Route helps you to extend your on-premises networks into the Microsoft Cloud over a dedicated private connection to Microsoft Azure, Office 365, and CRM Online. Security Plus Identify Services. It provides capabilities to identify and respond to cloud security threats. It also helps you to manage encryption keys and other sensitive assets. It has the following components. Key Vault. Azure Key Vault allows you to safeguard cryptographic keys and helps you to create secrets used by cloud applications and services. Azure Active Directory, Azure AD and Identity Management Service. This includes multi-factor authentication, device registration, etc. Azure AD B2C, it is a cloud identity management solution for your consumer-facing web and mobile applications. It allows you to scale hundreds of millions of consumer identities. Enterprise Integration Services. Service Bus, it is an information delivery service which works on the third-party communication system. SQL Server Stretch Database, this service helps you migrate any cold data securely and transparently to the Microsoft Azure Cloud. Azure AD Domain Services, it offers managed domain services like Domain Join, Group Policy, LDAP, etc. This authentication which is compatible with Windows Server Active Directory. Multi-Factor Authentication, MFA is two-step verification. It helps you to access data and applications to offers a simple sign-in process. Monitoring plus management services. These services allow easy management of Azure deployment. Azure Resource Manager. It makes it easy for you to manage and visualize resource in your app. You can even control who is your organization connect on the resources. Automation. It is a way to automate the manual, long-running, error-free, and constantly repeated tasks. These tasks are commonly performed in a cloud and enterprise environment. Next is Azure Networking. Virtual Network, perform network isolation and segmentation. It offers filter and route network traffic. Load Balancer, offers high availability and network performance of any application. Load Balance Information Internet Traffic to Virtual Machines. Application Gateway, it is a dedicated virtual appliance that offers an application delivery controller as a service. Azure DNS, it is hosting. Service offers name resolution using Microsoft Azure infrastructure. Web and Mobile Services Web Apps It allows you to build and host websites in the programming language of your choice without the need to manage its infrastructure. Mobile Apps Mobile Apps Service offers a highly scalable, globally available mobile app development platform for users. API Apps API Apps make it easier to develop, host and consume APIs in the cloud and on-premises. Logic Apps Logic Apps helps you to simplify and implement scalable integrations. Workflows in the Cloud it provides a visual designer to create and automate your process as a series of steps known as a workflow. Notification Hubs Azure Notification Hubs offers an easy-to-use, multi-platform, scaled-out push engine. Event Hubs Azure Event Hubs is data streaming platform which can manage millions of events per second. Data sent to an Event Hub can be transformed and stored using any real-time analytics offers batching storage adapters. Azure Search it is a cloud search as a service solution which offers server and infrastructure management. It offers ready to use service that you can populate with your data. This can be used to add search to your web or mobile application. Migration. This help an organization estimate workload migration costs. It also helps to perform the migration of workloads from your local data centers to the Azure cloud. Applications of Azure. Infrastructure services. Mobile apps. Web applications. Cloud services. Storage backup, and recovery, data management and media services. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you in understanding the basic things that covers Microsoft Azure. Please like share and subscribe Tech2N4U for more helpful videos.